Welcome back to another episode of Ricky's in London. Today I want to take you to around London's Regent Park. This is one of the best green spaces in the city and it's got beautiful gardens, ponds, boating lake and all kinds of other highlights. It's easier to get around Regent's Park. The park has its own tube station. It's Regent Park which is on the Bakelow line. Once you are in the park, there is lots of things to do and see. The Avenue Gardens are some of the most beautiful places to see. Queen Mary's Rose Garden is another highlight. It is home to London's biggest collection of roses and it's one of the best summer gardens in London. It is named after Queen Mary, the wife of King George V. The garden opened in 1932 and it has been highlighted of summer in London. Ever since, there are 12,000 roses in the garden. They cover both classic and modern varieties. There is even a flower bed dedicated to the Royal Park. There are lots of figures and sculptures over here. So if you like birds watching, there are lots of birds over here. Just to inform you, Regent Park is one of London's eight royal parks and covers an area of 395 acres. So there is a lot of walking to do. Make sure you get some water and snacks with you. In month of May, the park opens around 5 a.m. to 9:30 p.m. The Japanese Garden Island is stunning with a waterfall overlooking it. Access by a flip bridge is one of the most unique places in Regent Park. There are lots of cafes in Regent Park too. So if you are hungry or thirsty, there is always somewhere to stop. There are many toilets over here, but you need to pay 20p for it. The boating lake is another highlight. It is a perfect place to rent a boat or a paddle boat. The details are given over here. There are even some islands in the lake and they are fun to see from the boat or from the land. Regent Park is home to some secret gardens too. The St. George Lodge Garden sits at the northern part of the park in a circle. Designed in 1889, they were intended to be fit for meditation and they feature a series of compartments. decorated with sculptures 
Around them you can see one of the 56 villas that John Nash originally planned for the Prince of Region. Only two of them are still visible in the park today, including St. John Lodge. The inner circle is one of the most beautiful places in Regent's Park. It also has a beautiful ornamental gardens and cafes and it is home to an open air theatre that brings London entertainment every summer. He's trying to go the other side but he cannot. Looks like he needs to fly over it. I hope you have enjoyed this tour of Regent's Park and that you get a chance to explore it yourself one day. So there are so much amazing stuff here and lots of hidden corners. Thank you for watching this video guys. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.